I've got our 2014 Tundra in the shop and I'm gonna show you guys one of the easiest lighting upgrades you can do to the front of this thing, both install wise, wiring wise, and honestly for the maximum amount of light output in the shortest amount of time possible. This is the Diode Dynamics Driving Light Kit and I'm gonna show you how it all works. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is pull this grill off. Go ahead and take a 10 millimeter socket or you can use a Phillips screwdriver. There's four bolts total up top holding this thing on. Starting from the right and working our way left. And then we've got two little push pins. We've got one over here, we've got one over here. One on the left, one on the right. Take a pry tool, get under it like so, pry it up, yank it out of there. As you can see, this one's a little beat up. It's been off a few times. Do the same thing on the passenger side and the grill's already ready to come off. Go ahead and pull the grill upward toward you. And you'll feel it kind of come loose. Grab down here, give it a little pop toward you. Comes off like so. Go ahead and set it off to the side. Now we can go ahead and unbox our bracket kit from Diode Dynamics. So Diode Dynamics includes three different brackets for this install, and honestly, they are about as self-explanatory as it gets. This one right here goes in the middle, and all you need to do, and all you need for tools really for almost this entire job is a 10 millimeter socket. Go ahead and remove this center 10 millimeter nut here. Set the center bracket down on it. And put that nut right back on. And honestly, don't go crazy tightening anything just yet. We're gonna get everything mocked up first, get our light bars installed on the brackets, and then tighten everything up. Same thing goes for these outside 10 millimeter nuts. Remove the one closest to the truck, set the bracket on there. Snug it back down. Finally, do the same thing on the passenger side. All right, now it's time to go ahead and put our light bars on here, get everything mocked up before we get too crazy tightening things. So we're finally at the point you've been waiting for where we can get these light bars actually installed and see what they look like. So take one out of the box and in the bracket kit, you're gonna find four 10 millimeter bolts that you can use to install the, the light bar onto the diode brackets. Go ahead and do that like so. Now, all these brackets that we've installed today are super slotted. There's a lot of adjustability. So really what you're gonna wanna do is put the grill back on when you get these bars installed and make sure everything sits the way you want it to. Same story as the passenger side. Go ahead and get the bolts started, hand tight. We're not going crazy with tightening anything yet until we know exactly where we want it all lined up. So Diode Dynamics includes a really nice wire harness to get these things routed and installed properly on your truck. And they give you two different ways of doing that. You can run it to a toggle switch on your dash uh, if you feel like running the wiring through the firewall and you wanna just press the button anytime, anywhere and have the light bars turn on. They also include this little adapter here. And what you do with this is you unplug the switch from this harness, it's got a little plastic plug on it that looks like this one. And you plug this instead into the, the light bar harness and you plug it in behind the headlight and it'll just turn your light bars on with your high beam. And I love that. On my personal vehicles, that's how I have everything set up anyways. It's the most convenient switch that you can reach every time, no matter what, it's always at your left hand. It's super easy to hit, super easy to turn it on and off, going down back roads, whatever. If you encounter traffic or a situation where you wanna shut it off quick, you don't have to fumble around for a switch down here. I love that. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it this way today. If you wanna run it into the dash, it's super easy too, and they supply everything you need to do that. So go ahead and unwrap your wire harness, and you'll find this white plastic plug, just like I mentioned earlier, and the switch itself. If you're running the switch, you'll keep it as it is. If you're gonna do the adapter like I'm showing you, disconnect the switch and plug this guy in instead. And that's all there is to it. We're gonna be able to plug this in behind the headlight, get this thing working real quick. Normally what I'll do when I'm routing a wire harness like this is I'll kind of mock things up and lay them where I think I'm gonna put them. 
and that'll help me gauge how much wire I have to get from point A to point B. And in this case, Dow Dynamics was pretty generous with their wire that they included for this kit. I'm not too worried about running low on anything. So I've set the relay up here and the battery connections up here next to the battery. I'm gonna take these two light bar connectors right here. I'm just gonna run them alongside the radiator and pop them out right here, right over this plastic shield. There's plenty of room, it should fit just fine. Yeah, just poke them out right there. It's mostly, you're mostly doing this by feel. There's not a whole lot to look at back here. There's just a little gap here. Go ahead and feed them through by the battery. And here we go. Plug them in just like that. Go ahead and plug the other light bar in. Same story. We can route all this nicely in just a second here. So you can hear that clips in real nice. We don't have to worry about that coming loose. And I'm just gonna pull any, any extra slack that I've got out of this area. I don't wanna be able to see it from the front of the truck, you know? Now at this point we can install our adapter harness and the easiest way to do that in my opinion is to just pull the whole headlight out. You can access it by pulling the wheel liner back a little bit. If you wanna work down there, you can. Here in Northern Minnesota, all of our vehicle wheel liners, no matter how much you wash them right now, it's, it's winter, they're packed with like four inches of snow and I don't wanna deal with that. So go ahead and take your pry tool. Go ahead and pop these plastic retainers out. Set those off to the side and this trim piece will pop right off at this point. And we're back to the 10 millimeter socket. Go ahead and remove these top headlight bolts. And then finally, there's one bolt right here on the side. And the headlight's ready to be pulled out. Now, honestly, I, I wouldn't even pull it all the way out of the vehicle. I'd leave it right here. Take your adapter. So on our truck, we've got the bi-LED headlights installed with an adapter harness. You might have the same thing. You might have the bi-LEDs from the factory. Uh, whatever the case, go ahead and unplug your factory H4 connector. Plug this end in right here. Plug this end into either your headlight or your headlight adapter kit. Like so. And that's all there is to it. Go ahead and stuff the headlight back in the truck. We're gonna connect our positive and negative battery terminals for the light bars and we are done. The last step in doing this whole light bar install is connecting your positive and negative battery terminals to your light bar harness. Take a 12 millimeter socket, loosen one up, connect the positive. We'll cinch that back down. Negative. Someone might criticize the use of an impact on a, on a battery terminal. I'd probably agree with you. It's all on the trigger finger. Now let's zip tie this stuff up. Let's make sure everything works. And then we'll put the grill back on and see what these things can do for us. Now, as you can see, everything works great, but still not quite where it needs to be. We're gonna have to raise and lower these brackets a little bit, tweak them, put the grill back on, make sure everything looks good. But once you've done that and you've verified that everything powers up like it should, you're good to go. I'm super excited about these things. They're gonna complement the NSV light bar that we've already got installed in the hood. If you don't have that, definitely check that video out. That thing is honestly one of the best things you can buy with your money for your Toyota Tundra. If you've got one of these trucks, you need the NSV light bar. If you need anything else for your Toyota Tundra, we've got the world's brightest reverse lights. We've got a video on those. We've got a ton of fog light options. Check out our website, headlightrevolution.com. We work on Tundras a lot here. We'd love to help you out. Thanks for watching.